I've now got this traction engine completely stripped down. I managed to get the boiler out of it, and that's the, the part that needs soldering back on. But when you look at the end of this flange, it's all dented and bent. I'm not exactly sure what's been happening with this. The boiler's all soft so that, so I'm going to take this end cap off to allow us to straighten that, solder that back on, uh, put the water glass back in, and I'll have to put a test on the boiler. I need to find out what its working pressure is and do a little hydraulic test on it just to make sure everything's going to be alright. It won't take much heat to remove this. So that's starting to come out of it there now. Right, that's it. It'll give us a chance to get some of that lime scale and crap out the inside of there as well. I just had a bit of a miserable life when I get a, a good look at it. That's a lot better, it's nice and flat now. There's one little captive nut on there, I'm going to make sure that goes to the bottom. That one is virtually impossible to get in. I've just been on the phone to my friend Bob and he's going to come over tomorrow night and do the soldering on this boiler. I've got plenty of gear for silver soldering and welding, but as far as soft soldering goes, I haven't been running suitable flux. So Bob's going to come and sort that out for us. We're going to tidy the bench up in the garage and get all these bits ready to go back together. Right, my friend Bob's coming along to try and help us out with his boiler and to basically pull it into shit. Oh, and Bob, let's have a stop. Oh, no, say to John. How are you doing? Don't name no same, mate. Right, it's getting easy on your back, mate. Wait. Right. Here's your bench, get yourself in. <laughs> <laughs> I knew when I was watching your video you were going to be in there uh, straight flight. I think Bob's going to do a little bit of. Like an insight into soft children, so we can Why I? so we can pick some little gems of wisdom up. Not like a bit of tech, tech. Right. Right, hi everybody. Um, long time no see. Everything what's been happening. Right. Um, John had a problem with his boiler. Tried to fire it up, and I suspect what's happened is somebody's let it run dry, and it's just because they just sold it together and the solders come undone. Now, John is used to working on big stuff, not little stuff. I'm the opposite way, I like working with little stuff. Now the, the, the thing is with solder is cleanliness. Um, remove as much as the old solder as possible. Because what, what can, so what can happen with, where solder can oxidise. And you might think you're getting it soldered but you haven't. You've just got it lying on the top. So cleanliness is always the, the main point. Now the second point that... Um, <laughs> it's bad but it's good, is the flux I'm using, right? Chances are you won't be able to buy that in the shops anymore. Because <laughs> uh, even the solder I'm using, um, it's illegal, well, it's not illegal to use, but you can't buy it anymore because it's leaded solder. Modern solder is lead free, different type of kettle fish and all together. Right, so I'll clean these parts off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin them. But underneath this one's already got solder on, so I'm going to go around there, off camera, I'm going to go around there off camera, clean all that off, uh, then when I've soldered the back, that sold, put new fresh solder in there. But first of all, we're going to put some solder on this ring. So, get my finger in the flux. And pivot. If you've got cuts in your fingers, Bob, you still put your finger in Well, there. if you don't want to put your finger in, that's up to you, but my fingers is like leather. <laughs> now you can use 
<coughs> when people come to soldering, soft soldering, it's totally different than hard soldering, which is silver soldering. You don't need it red hot, you only need it hot enough to melt the solder. Now, I've got a couple of tools with us today. I've got a little gas burner, I've had that for years, cracking a little bit of kit. Then I've got one of these, big burner, but it also has the interchangeable tip to a solder line, which I might have to use, but I'm, I'm just hoping I can get away with a big flame. So the first one I'm going to be using is the little blue one, this one. And I'm going to heat that up. Then I'm going to put some solder, let the solder wick round. It's on, it's on a thermal brick. Could you do this using modern flux, probably like plumbers, flux and plumber yeah, solder? Plum, plumbers flux will do work. And is, um, it, is it modern solder the same temperature? No, modern solder, this is where people get wrong. They'll have an old solder iron, and because modern solder is lead free, it needs a higher melting point. So your old solder irons, chances are you'll be struggling to get the heat. Um, what's involved now? Um, <coughs> you can get the modern solder irons, which is a lot, a lot hotter. But you could also get the, the solder lines which have interchangeable tips and you could modify them there to uh, I'm gonna let that cool down, I've tinned that. Off camera I've cleaned all the old solder off on the inside, on the lip, around there. Not so much on the on the end cap, just most of the lip. It's just to make sure when I re tin it, it's nice and clean, it's going on a nice clean surface. Now I'm gonna tin this like I did Tin the other ring, dump your finger in the flux, wipe it round, sorry, off camera. Right. Now again, you don't need a lot of heat because it's only little. What about electrical solder, the flux cord stuff? Well, that's what it is. That's but you know, you know the stuff with the flux cord, could you use that? Yeah, that's what that is. That, all right, okay. It's, uh, it, I've got loads, if I, if I can get a bit, I've got loads of it's single, it's thin. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. So instead of like chucking it all away, I've just wrapped it up. Right. To make a thicker core. But it, it already has the um, <coughs> the flux, it's pre fluxed in, but it's meant for electrical. Right. Not, yeah. not heavy flux. Yeah. That's a honey little torch, that. Yeah. What about eight quid, nine quid, John? I've had it years. One it goes. Now if you get a bit what's stubborn. Yeah, I can see the flux bottom of it now. Now at this stage don't be worried about putting too much on because I'm going to wipe it off with a cloth. All I want is tin it to make sure it's got a nice clean ring. That's just the, the flux in the solar burning off. And pips, oh you're putting too much on and I'm putting a lot on. I'm just making sure that when it gets soldered on it's going to be That's just a thin cotton. Yeah, just a thin cotton. And what I'm going to do, clean all this excess off on the, on the brick.
It's awkward because I'm trying to let you see, but I don't need to see as well when I'm doing. No, I'll see, alright. I think my oxypropane flame is a little bit severe. No, I think it's a bit this. severe for that, mate. Right, we'll right, let that cool down. Alright, so, as I say, I've got loads. It's really thin, but I just twist it up. Um, it's not illegal to use. It's illegal to use it. This the, lead, the leaded stuff, you can't go over in the UK. I don't know about anywhere else. But you can't use this leaded stuff on water pipes. Um, it has to be the lead free. Um, but now what I'm going to do, because I've cleaned that, that off, and make sure that's nice and clean. And that's very nice brass, isn't it? Ah, it's brass. Nickel, nickel plated. Just nickel plated, yeah. <coughs> They're a good model. Um, as I say, that it's it's uh, what I'm doing is going to go around there with a nice beta flux. Now, when, when that goes back on, that little nut goes to the bottom. Right, there's one nut clamp. Basically. Now what we need to do now is to sweat them two together. So don't keep your heat in one place. Might have to use the bigger blowtorch yet, I don't know. But I'm getting a nice silver solder ring going on the bottom. Can John see that? Yeah. This one looks come out on the shoulder here. Yeah. So I did the right thing taking the end cap off. Yeah. And just play with it and right, that should be sorted out of there. And cool down a bit, well not too much. And you said that look was on the bottom. Look was on the bottom, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if you can say that, but I've dipped that in some flux. There's a little nut on there, which John says needs to go at the bottom. What size are they? They look like about 6BA, I think. Oh, so they're big. Well, <laughs> they might be 6BA, I don't know. And again, because the two of them's tinned. So you don't need to put any extra solar in? Right, we are putting it back together, I've finished soldering it and cleaned it up and now this is the awkward bit, putting these little nuts on. Um, what do you reckon they are 6B here? No, they're 8 um, millimetre. Oh, they're metric? Right. 2mm. Oh, right, so they're quite big then? No, they're quite big. Quite big. <coughs> John said when I come over, will I bring some nuts? I don't know who's lost the most, me or John? I think it's me. I 
are miserable little things, aren't they, really? Well, the trouble with these ones, you can't pick them up with a magnet, they're stainless. Mm. This might well just be a model boiler, but it is a steam boiler, and as such, it does need to be tested because I've had all the end off. I'm going to put a hydraulic test on it, fill it with water. So I've made some little adapters and some blanket plugs. I'm going to pump water in the wood until it comes out of that screw, which is a, the highest point on the boiler. And once we get water out of there, and there's no air left in the boiler. So a small amount of water will lift the pressure. I've been on the Walesco website and the test pressure for these boilers is 72 psi. Like the working pressure is at 30. So we'll gently bring the pressure up. It will drop because there's one or two leaks on these fittings. Up to 70. Right, and the bit that Bob's done on the end of there is absolutely bone dry. A real nice repair. Pressure's creeping down because it has got one or two little leaks on the joints. But I'll leave the pressure on for a little bit. And very happy with that. I hope you learnt a little bit about soft soldering. I know I certainly did. Right, so we're happy with it for. Yeah.